Understanding Meyer's critique regarding the impact of activism on sex education in schools is crucial. Entrapment. Suggesting someone into something they wouldn't otherwise do. And if you think that some of that isn't going on with gender in schools, you're not watching enough TikTok videos. I pledge allegiance to the queers. I'm not allowed to be out as trans non-binary at school. So my response to this is to be as obnoxiously queer as possible. There's a certain kind of activist these days who wants to take heterosexuality, old school, old fashioned, boring, minding its own business, heterosexuality, and lump it in with patriarchy and sexism and racism and tell kids, wouldn't it be cool if you were anything but that? It also seems to be the theme of kind of a lot of kids' books these days. I never used the phrase gay agenda because I thought it was mostly nonsense, and it is, mostly. But a director for Disney Television Animation did say after she was hired. The showrunners were super welcoming to like my like not at all secret gay agenda. Like I was just wherever I could just basically adding queerness. No one would stop me and no one was trying to stop me. Look, I'm all for adding queerness wherever. I put some in my drink before I came out here tonight. <laughs> but maybe we should think about giving kids a break from our culture wars for a minute or at least until the election is over. We can acknowledge the potential dangers of shaping young minds or engaging in ideological indoctrination, especially concerning nuanced topics like gender identity and sexuality. It's vital to safeguard children from undue influence or coercion into adopting specific identities or beliefs before they develop critical thinking skills and independence. Many of us share concerns about how cultural messages may affect child development. Maher's point about a movement aimed at redefining traditional concepts like heterosexual norms and pushing a singular worldview on youth through various channels like media, education, and literature is worth considering. We must avoid imposing or manipulating beliefs and behaviors onto others. Questions naturally arise about finding a balance between cultural influences and individual autonomy. Recognizing an individual's self-perception and their role in the world is crucial within social narratives, all while safeguarding personal autonomy and freedom of choice.